Hi everyone, this is a short video to show you some of the differences between the T and the Z distributions. What I've done is I've generated random values, about 10,000 random values for both the T and the normal distributions with the T distributions at different levels of degrees of freedom. And then I've plotted the density of both of those on the same chart so that you can see what it is. This first chart here is a comparison of the standard normal distribution and the central T distribution with just 5 degrees of freedom. You can see that the normal distribution here in pink has a higher peak and the T distribution has fatter tails down here. You can see it's more spread out. At t uh, degrees of freedom of 6, those tails are a little bit smaller and it's a little bit closer here, but not by a whole lot. By 7, they're looking very close, except here in the tails. 8 still pretty close, 10, 15, it's definitely looking much more close, 25, it's very difficult to tell the difference, at 30, this is why most people give you that one, when n is large, that's 30, um, that's a bit of a furphy, frankly, in this big data and age, but you can see that the differences between the t and the distribution are very slight. At 50, it's almost impossible to tell the difference. And that's why people say, as n gets large, we would expect the t distribution to act a lot like the normal distribution. So just going through those again, you can see here, much fatter tails. When the degrees of freedom are low, the normal distribution has a higher peak. As, those as it gets bigger, as those degrees of freedom gets bigger, it becomes very difficult to tell the difference between the two distributions. So I hope that explains it to you. Please let me know if you've got any questions.